Bowling High School has put together a very good girls powerlifting team. And our Chevy Spotlight tells us that this year's team has sent more girls to state than ever. When Robbie Beisel took the coaching job of the bowling powerlifting team four years ago, he had six girls on the squad. Now he has 13, and three of them qualified for this year's state tournament, the most amount of girls bowling has ever sent to state. But it just goes to show the growth of a program made up of strong, determined girls. It's one thing about um, you know small school. These girls, they have to sacrifice a lot because a lot of them are multi-sport athletes. They're doing, they're doing other things, and to get up here at 6.50 in the morning and get their work in, go to school all day, and then do their after school responsibilities as well, it's a, it, it's a sacrifice and it's um, something that I'm really proud of them. It takes hard work in the weight room every single day, at least three to four times a week because that's the only thing that's going to take you to get stronger and improve each day. So you have to be determined and you have to embrace the pain. Ellie Bulgaris, along with Alana Rodriguez and Allie Page, most certainly have embraced the pain this season. The three of them represented bowling at the state meet this week in Frisco. Page qualified as just a freshman and comes from a family of power lifters, but still, Making it to state as just a ninth grader has been quite a feat. It's a huge accomplishment for me. My family and friends are all very excited for me, and I'm excited for myself. It's just something that I really didn't know was going to happen and did, and it's just a really big accomplishment for me. She has some natural ability that she can you know, expand on, and, and um, I think we're going to do this for four years with Allie. Success at powerlifting comes from hard work and confidence. The bowling girls got a big shot of confidence when they competed against 4A and 5A teams in the Hitchcock tournament earlier this year. It wasn't just that they competed, but the fact that they lifted more than teams from higher classifications. Us being so small and of a school and going against those huge schools, it's just a really big accomplishment and it just, it's a really big confidence booster because you didn't know you could do that and then you go and win it and it's amazing. It gave me a big confidence boost knowing that we were beating bigger schools so that way when we came back to our regional meet, I knew that we were able to compete very well and there would be no struggles there. Although powerlifting can be seen as an individual sport, the support the girls give each other can't be overlooked. The girls have become a close-knit family and the encouragement they give one another has helped them reach new personal goals. One of the biggest things for me is that this team has become like a family and that's one big thing to me because some of these girls I never talked to before and never really had a bond with and now they're like family to me. So I think that's something that's really cool to me. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. That's why they're here. That's why they're here. They've, um, they've earned it. The Chevy Spotlight is brought to you by the Houston area Chevy dealers. Visit your nearest Chevy dealer and test drive our award winning products.